So while my partner and I were here sitting in bed with the rats while they were free roaming, we were looking on Facebook Marketplace. I've been looking for a while to try to upgrade the rats' cages. You would have seen in my previous rat videos. I showed how I clean the cage. I showed redecorating and redoing the setup because I got new hammocks. But for a while, I've been mentioning that I'm trying to find a bigger cage, looking for a bigger cage. Here in Canada, a double critter nation would cost $460 on Amazon. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I found one for $275. I was chit-chatting with the guy, I got it down to $250. So we're gonna go pick it up tonight. It's also pitch black. We definitely could have done this another day, but my partner's working tomorrow, so it would have kind of prolonged the process. Also, I'm gonna be borrowing my stepdad's truck because Derek's car, definitely, it would not fit in the trunk of that. The cage that I have right now, I'll insert a clip, that barely fit in the cage, we had to take it apart. So I'm very grateful that we have that ability to use a big car like that. We've arrived, Derek is just getting it from the gentleman's garage right now. I'm staying in the car, I'm a little bit spooked, it's kind of dark, so he's handling that. We're all loaded in, Derek and the gentleman were like rolling out the cage and it was so much bigger than I could have imagined. In my head I was like, the Critter Nation can't be that much bigger than what I have now. I looked at the dimensions and I guess I couldn't really envision it, but she is hefty. I'll give you a better look obviously when it's brighter when we get home. I put the back seats down. Originally when we got here, I was like, oh, it'll just fit in the trunk, it'll fit in the back. It did not, I had to put the seats down. And we had to separate all three parts, the two cages that stack on top of each other, and the little wheelie part in the bottom. I'm very excited to get this all decorated and all put together for the rats. It's so big. Like, I'm looking at just one right now, and this would have been more than enough space for my two rats. We've just made it home. I just wanted to show you how the car was packed. This is the bottom. I'm like seeing it looks pretty gross and dirty. That's one of the cages and then back there's another. It kind of came apart as we were driving. Now let's bring it all into the garage and I'll give it a good cleaning tomorrow. Look who's here waiting for us. Hey cuties. baby and there's Dumpling. This is how I get greeted every morning. Hey cutie, hey! Here's your new water. It is a new day. I'm here with the cages and Derek and I are gonna hose them down and give them a good scrub and clean. Like I mentioned, it was used for a parrot bird so there's like leftover, I don't know if that's poop, just like grime. Before we scrub anything, we're just gonna give it a good hose down to hopefully get some of the stuff off first to make it easier. Let me show you a before and after of cleaning one. You can see there's just like grime on the corners and leftover hair. Flip. And then Derek goes in and cleans it with a disinfectant and scrubs anything else that's left. Just as a size reference, this is me beside the cage. Look at how deep. It is the length of my entire, my entire arm. And it's very tall. Of course, at the bottom there was that little section so I can have a bit of storage, but it's massive. I feel like the pictures online don't do it justice. That's one thing about this cage that I currently have. The doors, there's two doors. Well, actually there's three. There's one on top as well, but there's two doors here in the front. And I don't know if you can see, it just has this small square, which isn't too bad, but sometimes it does get hard to attach things and put the perches on and stuff like that. Versus this cage, the two front doors, they can actually be fully opened and I can go in and do whatever I need to do. But can we just take into account this size difference? The cage they're currently in? The upgrade. Like, this is unreal. In just a single story Critter Nation, which is just Half of this, I believe you can hold four or five rats. Correct me if I'm wrong, I, I'm not actually sure. I don't know the actual stats. We're just pulling into the driveway now. I'm gonna pick up all the goodies. We're really out here in farmland. 
So I just visited a rattery. I got a ton of stuff. Because this cage is so much bigger than my last cage, I need to pick up quite a bit more stuff in order for it to get filled. Also, make sure you stay tuned till the end because something very, very exciting was picked up. Very, very exciting, which I feel like you'll want to see. Let me just get into the cage supplies first. So of course, I wanted to make sure the rats had enough spots to hide, sleep, hang out. So I picked some things up. I got two of these igloos. Right now on the ground, I have a shoe box and just like cardboard boxes at the bottom, which they really like to hide out in. But I thought I'd pick some of these up. I can also put one on like a platform or something. In my last cage setup video, I did a little haul of some stuff I got from Etsy. I got four new hammocks, which honestly they haven't been using. They haven't been going in. They mainly use their Sputnik little space dome and like I said, the cardboard boxes at the bottom of the cage. Um, but just in case, I bought some more. This is just a triangle that I'm planning on putting in the corner. Then I also got this square, which I'm planning on hanging under one of the platforms. Uh, I hope they use it, I really do. Speaking of their Sputnik, I, I got another one. The current Sputnik I have is the smaller size. This is the XL. Right now they cram into the small one they have and having this extra large will definitely be, you know, plenty of space for them. Moving along, of course, I want them to be able to move around easily through the cage, so I got some more lava ledges. They really, really like the one I currently have, so I want to pick up some more. She had a ton of these Oxbow Enriched Life little foraging toys and different toys, so I picked this one up. It opens here at the top, and I think it'd be great just to like, chew on and put little stuff inside. Because of the size of the cage, I want to get another litter box and something else for water. Right now, they don't really drink from the water bottles, so I decided to get them a water bowl. This is a large size Enriched Life Oxbow bowl, no tip bowl, and it's, it's very heavy, very heavy. I think it's like ceramic or something, so I definitely, I definitely don't think it will tip. And I got another litter tray. This one is so much bigger than the current one I have. I have a little gray one that I keep in the corner. This is a Katie Long John litter pan. Very, very big. I got a comment a little while ago on one of my previous rap videos. When you guys comment, I really take those comments to heart. Like, I'll take action just because of the comment. So, someone commented that my rats would really appreciate mealworms. I know it can kind of be gross, but like, they'd really love if you gave it to them. So, I got some dried mealworms. Right now, I feed them the Oxmo adult rat food. I was kind of running low, so I need to pick up some more. The wonderful woman sells this massive 20 pound bag. So I picked this up as well. I mentioned this in a previous rat video, but I was looking to expand my little rat group from two to hopefully four. I mentioned I was in contact with a reputable breeder near me. The rattery is Atlantis Rattery. She's been doing this for so many years, more than 10 years, I believe, and she has a bunch of different lines of rats. And I was hoping to get my hands on some dwarf rats. Unfortunately, she made a post about the rats and I came to it a little late. So I only saw one dwarf female, the rest were reserved. And because she's reputable, she didn't want people getting just one rat, obviously. If you don't know, you should always have more than one rat. They're very social animals. One is not enough. Even if you think you'll give them as much attention they need, you're not a rat, you're not gonna connect with them the way another rat does. Anyhow, so she only sells out two rats at a time and there's only one dwarf. So I was like, oh, dang. When I was there, she showed me some of the female rats that she had available and she said that I could just mix it with another regular rat. She said it would be okay, you know, it wouldn't be the best, but it would be okay if I had a standard rat and a dwarf together. So... We are adding to the group. We're adding. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. Also, this isn't like a super last minute decision. I've been wanting more girls, hence me getting such a big cage. So I'm going to set up one of the cages for the, the new girls. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. They're so small, they're so small. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna set one of these up for my small little girls and I'm gonna keep the other ones in the original cage and I'm gonna quarantine them. I'm gonna be posting the video where I adopt the little girls. I'm gonna show you how cute they are. You're gonna have to see part two, the adoption vlog. I'm gonna document all of that. I'm gonna document introducing them after the quarantine period. Since I am slash was a first time rat owner, this will be my first time introducing rats, so I'll document that. I wanna do a ton of research and figure out the best way to actually introduce them to make it like a smooth transition. I'm also just still so excited that I have this massive cage. Like, I just wanna provide them such a great, happy, stimulating life, and I'm so happy I got this. Again, check out Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for a big rat cage like this.
Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Alexandra period Stott, S T O T T, to see my stories and like live updates of the rats. I'm constantly posting them on there. And be sure to subscribe so you can see them and see the actual process of me adopting them, putting them into the cage, getting the cage set up, and all of that.